Hello, uh, welcome to my little show, the Chris and Pan's Garage. Uh, today we're not going to talk about cars or anything like that or traveling. We're going to talk about food and uh, a lot of people, a lot of you guys are eating out all the time and sometimes you should make your food at home. It's just, it's just less processed food, it's just more nutritious. And, but we don't because it takes a lot of time to make food. Well, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you guys how to make food quickly and it, with minimum time and minimum effort. So uh, this is a beef blade roast, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the slow cooker to cook this uh, over the course of six to eight hours, depending on how big the piece of meat is. Uh, you're gonna need, of course, the roast, you're gonna need a beer, you're gonna need also the, um, what do you call it, the garlic, and you're gonna need some steak spice. And you're going to need, of course, a glass of water. Now you're going to put all those elements together uh, and you're going to have a great blade roast, all right? So what I'll do is I'll bring the camera in so you can see a little bit more how I do things, all right? And I'll put the voice over because I'm doing this video in English and French and I want to get both audiences, all right? So we're going to get started. Okay, so you take your meat and you unwrap it. And uh, then you put it in the slow cooker or crock pot. Take your beer or wine if you want and just empty the whole thing in there. This is going to give it its flavor. Now for all you anti-alcohol freaks, uh, don't worry, the alcohol will evaporate. And you take your steak spice. I like to put a lot, I like a bit of salt in my meat. And then I add garlic. It's a little bit random but Garlic is one of those sexy spices that goes with everything and it just makes everything taste better and smell better. And the last thing you put is your water. Put some water. Now what you want to do is you want to add the liquid so it's at least higher than the meat because as it cooks a little bit will evaporate and you don't want the top part of the meat to dry out. So that looks pretty good, pretty good. Put the cover on that and you're gonna set the temperature low it's gonna take eight hours high it's gonna take six hours but you don't have to cook red meat right through it can stay rose a bit 